Welcome to another EUP1501 portfolio tutorial session. In this tutorial session, we'll focus on section B of the portfolio. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please subscribe to make sure that you get all the latest videos the moment that we upload them. Okay. So the main focus of this uh, tutorial session is question number two. But before we focus on question number two, I'll read through all the questions for section B. Okay, this is how it reads. In not more than five pages, submit a report that includes the following. Identify the sector and explain how the drone is used in that particular sector, one page. Insert the relevant pictures of the selected drone, one page. Describe the type of drone that is selected, one page. Okay, you need to discuss the hardware and software. For example, the speed, camera quality, smart modes, flight time, range, difficulty, and playfulness. Number four, briefly discuss why you have suggested this drone to the NPO. Number five, in your view, what is the future of drone technology in society? And the last one, you need to reference the sites you have used. Apply APA style. Okay. So, we've already discussed uh, number one. And if you haven't watched that video, please make sure that you go to our YouTube channel. Then go to playlist and go to EUP1501 portfolio. Okay. So, I assume that everyone who's continuing with uh, this tutorial session has already watched the first video. Okay, let's move on. So, okay, here are some of the questions that you might have, which I hope to answer in this tutorial session. How many pictures should you insert? What should those images display? And where can you get those images? Okay, the first question is, uh, how many pictures should you insert? So you should include about between four and six images. I think in most uh, uh, suppliers websites, they have between four and six images. And I think that's all that you need for this uh, portfolio. Okay. Uh, what should you, those images display? This depends on the type of project that you have chosen. Okay, so for some projects, it will be necessary for you to show uh, tools or components such as your container, the container that they're going to use to irrigate. For some components, it is more important to show the type of camera that is included in that particular drone. But whatever project you choose, there are some basic drone components that you need to show. For example, you need to show the, the drone and the propellers. Okay. You need to show the remote control mechanism. You need to show the batteries or battery charger. In some cases, it might be difficult to show the batteries and battery charger. So for uh, in cases where it's difficult to find those, I think it's okay even if you leave them out. Okay. So some, some drones have specialized uh, components. Okay. So you need to show those specialized components, which will most likely address the question or meet the NPO's needs. Okay. So where can you get those images? Okay. For, so you, you can get the, the images from the suppliers catalog. Most suppliers catalogs have like all the images that you need. Make sure that you, when you re do your research, in most cases you'll, you'll find, you, you'll identify a particular drone to be used for a particular task from your, your research, like in the document, in your, let's say maybe you were reading a journal that addresses a particular issue, and then they'll most likely mention the type of drone that they use, the model, model number, and the supplier, okay? So you'll get that information from from the from the journal or textbook that you, you will have read and then take those uh, take the name of the of the drone the model number uh, go to the internet and search for that and then find the supplier and then from the suppliers catalog that's where you're gonna get all the images okay some of the websites where you can get uh, 
that actually sell drones is Alibaba. You can get some, some of the drones uh, from takealot.com. But uh, when it comes to takealot.com, most of the drones that are there, I don't think are um, heavy duty drones. I mean, like, they are like the small ones, but most of them actually do a good job. For example, if your, your main focus is like taking aerial images to address a particular, a particular uh, need, okay, for a particular village, then you can get all those, uh, you can get very good drones from uh, takealot.com. Okay, so <clears throat> let me show you an example of what, uh, of how you should actually present uh, this information in your portfolio. I think most of you are interested in that. Okay, so, okay, before we go to the last slide, let me show you an example. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I need to open a Word document. So this is the Word okay so yeah this is what i have so far for section b of this portfolio okay for section b number one as we have already discussed i've already written a whole page right so you can see so for number one you should have about between 500 and uh, maybe 600 words make sure that you used uh, font size uh, the font size should be 12 or and you can use any uh, font okay but I prefer using Calibri but in academics they mostly use Arial and uh, Times New Roman yeah I think it's something like the Times New Roman let me double check I think it's Times yeah Times New Roman okay but I'm not gonna use that I, I'll stick with uh, Calibri okay so this is what we have for number two this is the main focus okay as you can see I have one, two, three, four images. Could I, should I could have added the fifth one if I if I found a very good image? But in this case, from this supplier, these are the only images that I got. Okay, so you need to add your caption for whatever you've added. Caption helps convey a message. You'll tell them the reader what this is. Uh, okay, you'll explain your stuff here. Okay, add caption for all of the images. So in case you're wondering how I got these pictures to to set up like nicely, I've actually I've actually inserted the images in a table. Okay, so to include a table, you'll go to insert and then table. So this is okay. Let me show you. Let me add a new table. So this is how I'd go about it. Uh, okay, let's include insert a new table. Okay uh break page let's see okay okay so i'd actually go let me okay i've selected four rows so from this you can then go to home click on insert then click here to insert pictures go to your folder where you've saved your downloaded pictures where is um looking for is it portfolio lessons okay so this is where i have saved my images so i'm looking for for example i'll be, uh, want this one then i'll insert it after inserting it to resize it you click on this then you can resize you can resize your image to whatever size that you want okay so in cases where you like you wanna maybe add two images uh, in one row, you can simply it's 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 much easier to to draw a to in to draw a to separate to divide let's say to divide that particular row. So I can actually divide it like this, and then on this slot here, I'd be able to add another picture. So let me show you. Click on insert. I'm just giving you examples okay uh, I'm gonna delete this this ones we done then I can insert this one as well and make sure that I resize it uh, such that it fits nicely resize that see now it looks fine okay after doing that click on the image itself then go to and uh, is it the right click and then go to insert caption insert caption then you can write whatever you want to write okay 
I'm just gonna write gibberish here. Okay. So the moment you click OK, you'd have your caption here. You see, it's actually numbering the, the figures for you. So you don't have to worry too much about that. And then you do the same for this one. Uh, go to insert caption. You in, you insert your caption. Okay. After inserting your caption, you click on OK. Then voila, it's there. But make sure that the sizes are actually the same so that the captions can be aligned it looks much better like that so once you have something like this you come here you go to this place you come here uh, right click okay and then or oh, you left click and then you go to table properties table properties and then you select border and shading then you click on uh, you remove the border click on none and then click OK and then click OK Voila, see now it looks much better. It looks much better. But for my uh, portfolio, I don't really need this, so I'm gonna delete this. I was just showing you how to edit on your portfolio. Delete table. I'm gonna delete the table. I'm happy with what I have so far. Okay, so I think that's it when it comes to this example. So we can continue with our slideshow. Okay. Let's continue with our slideshow and okay. Mm -hmm. We almost done. I'm sorry about that. Okay. So the last slide is this one. Okay. So uh, the next video will talk about, we'll focus on number three, which is this. We need to describe the type of drone that is selected. Uh, we need to look at the hardware and the software and discuss the speed and all that. Okay, uh, I'll upload the video as soon as possible. Thank you for watching.